holding a hot skillet while we're driving. The egg is barely cooked. Um, as soon as I cracked the egg, the lawn people were all around our van, blowing stuff, doing stuff. And Gunner hates lawn people. Nothing, nothing matters anymore. So you want to do van life? <laughs> Welcome to our YouTube channel where we show you how great and wonderful van life is. Everything is really good and wonderful all the time. The real side of van and life. it's definitely not ever stressful. It is morning, quote unquote. Gunner's tired and bundled up. He looks so upset. Good morning, everybody. We are just going to make some coffee and breakfast in the van. Um, the van is a little messy. We're still in the process of getting settled in. For those of you who don't know, we have moved out of Florida. Um, my husband was laid off the day after Thanksgiving and we'd really been wanting to get out of Florida anyways now that we live in a van um, summers can be really hot and it's not the most van life friendly place overall. Um, also, it's just super expensive to live in Florida. Even if you live in a van, just food and gas and everything is pretty expensive there now. Um, so I don't want to say exactly where we went, but we are living in a mountain town um, along the Appalachian Trail somewhere. That's a pretty vast region. so. Uh, either way, it is cold, definitely cold, and we're all getting used to that. Um, so just to save money, um, we're going to make some coffee and breakfast ourselves and try and get into our old routine um, from back at home. So stay tuned. First things first, I'm going to heat up my tea kettle. Hopefully I don't run out of water. I need to refill the water today. I need to find a place to refill the water. All right, now that we have our tea kettle filled with water. I really like how sturdy this camp stove is. This piece and this piece is Ozark Trails from Walmart, um, around $25. Um, and then I normally get the Coleman's propane. This is... Burnzomatic, um, but these little green canisters are great um, for cooking and smaller things. Depending on how much propane you're using and what you're trying to run, sometimes it's more cost effective to get a bigger white propane tank you can refill and you can get a hose adapter and then you can use that for camp stoves. It's a little crammed in here. Um, our van doesn't even have standing room, so I like to keep things as compact as possible and I just try to be um, really conservative with how much propane I'm using for stuff. And now we wait. And this is the um, alarm. This is how we wake everybody up in the morning. Pop that open, pour this in, pour this in. Andrew likes to put his coffee in and then pour it in. Some people say it's better to let the coffee sit at the top for a, a few seconds and then stir it. I don't know, man. I like coffee that um, makes me feel like I'm at um, Studio 54 in the 70s, okay? And if you don't get that reference, that's okay. I shouldn't even get that reference. I'm pretty young, but All right, I feel like that's enough. Anyways, how was your morning? You're probably not watching this in the morning, but if you are, for about 10 minutes or so. And while that's sitting, I'm going to clean some dishes and then we'll start making actual breakfast. We have a timer on for the coffee. Now we're going to make, um, I don't know what you call it, but people call it bird in a nest, egg in a hole, um, egg in a basket, whatever you call it, you make a hole in the bread and then crack the egg in it. So 
<clears throat> Andrew's really vibing with the brioche style bread these days. Don't come for me. I know this isn't like 20,000 grain, freegan, vegan, grass-fed, monk, Sherpa special bread. Um, I would just like to remind everyone that I'm poor and I just get whatever is on sale wherever I can. Um, so, you know, yeah. And it just makes the perfect hole, okay? The perfect hole punch. for the end carefully 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 press it down and now if you have this stanley french press um <coughs> it's really good i like it but to pour the coffee i recommend taking this off and it'll make the pour way less messy Skillet's the way to go because it like really retains the heat and you just like get it nice and hot in the beginning and then can lower the heat and it'll like cook pretty evenly. Okay, you get your bread. We get our egg. Crack it on top. Okay. And we're gonna do um, pepper. Oh no. Oh, this is really bad. The lawn people are here and Gunner hates that. It's the lawn people. Oh no, Gunner will knock over everything and kill us. Literally holding a hot skillet while we're driving. The egg is barely cooked. Um, as soon as I cracked the egg, the lawn people were all around our van, blowing stuff, doing stuff, and Gunner hates lawn people he will break our window he will knock everything over he will like try and break out of the van to get to the lawn people and i can't have an open flame of propane and a really hot skillet um while that's happening so we literally had to turn everything off and andrew hopped in the front seat and we left so we're going to go to a different parking lot to finish breakfast <laughs> don't you love van life before i guess we know the title of our video <laughs> um, but you know that's the fun thing I don't have to make anything up to make it interesting my life is just constantly out of control alright let's try making breakfast again and then if there's another lawn person I'm literally just we're not doing breakfast I'll throw this out the window Luckily, it was a green light straight shot across the street. And now we have a gas station because we need to get gas. And we have a, um, we're in the parking lot of a grocery store. I need to see if I can refill our five gallon water and our seven gallon water for drinking and sink. Oh, this is a garlic pepper. This is um, Tony Satchery's Creole seasoning. I'm running low. Hopefully they sell it here. They probably do. This is like pretty common. All right, I'm gonna flip the egg. It smells like it's burning. A little burnt, whoops. After what just happened, I don't even care. Everyone's gonna eat it and they're gonna like it. I'm gonna try to get you up. You were sleeping, sleeping, sleeping. Well, I've been getting up early every morning and running around. Cry about it. Yummy. And it's like brioche bread, so it's kind of like French toast bread, so it's a little bit sweeter. Mm. All right, there you go. Thanks, babe. Perfect, boom. Thank you. Boom. I got my hot sauce. <sighs> oh God, that's our thing. Our, our smoke alarm went off. This is my life. Nothing, nothing matters anymore. So you wanna do van life? <laughs> Welcome to our YouTube channel where we show you how great and wonderful van life is. Everything is really good and wonderful 
all the time. The real side of being and it's definitely not ever stressful. Everything goes the way you want it to all the time. Um, no, van life is like regular life, guys. Like, you know how regular life you can plan and then things still don't go the way you want? That's just life. So if you're looking for a lifestyle that's perfect, I have a horrible news that that doesn't exist. Um, unless you're like a multimillionaire or billionaire, I and mean, then I'm sure things are pretty easy. But other than that, I can't help y'all. But um, we're still really excited about the move. We're going to enjoy the rest of our breakfast. If you're new here... Go watch our other videos. Yes, we're always unhinged and chaotic. Um, we've shown you a lot of cool places in Florida, and now it's time to show you a lot of cool places up in the mountains. Stay tuned, and don't get bamboozled.